I wouldn't say we, we, we actually thought about it in the beginning of the season because there's always a bit of nerves, a bit of stress because you always want to see what the other teams bring and, and you know how they're doing or how well they're playing in the first you know four or five games. So we couldn't really read too much into it, but um, we said to ourselves that we're going to take it game game by game. Um, fortunately, we we know we have been doing well. We South African conference leaders, so. That must say something about our structures and uh, the coaching plans that we have in place at the Stormers. So, um, to answer your question, it was on our minds, but we didn't read too much into it. But um, as the season went by, we just took it game by game. And then, sort of shutting the the big event at the end of the year out of your minds. Of course, the Rugby World Cup. How's that been? Um, it's been good. I think I've uh, got a lot of feedback from Heineke on the one-on-ones. It's been positive and also lo- a lot of negative things in terms of what I need to work on. And um, one of the big things was that you know I need to play more. And um, there was a plan in place for me, like I said earlier yeah, in the, the media conference. And uh, everyone's playing for a Springbok spot. Um, and that's why the derbies are so close. I mean, you, you witnessed that last week against the Lions. So... Uh, um, and you know, and, and the loose forward department, it's it's really tough. I think there's about 15 great, you know, world-class loose forwards in South Africa, and then you also have to go look at it as as a you know old worldly kind of uh, basis. So, um, I mean, just to mention a few, there's there's obviously Dwayne for Mielin, Sia Kulisi, Warren Whiteley, Spear, Pierce Peace, Willem Alberts, Marcel Gutsi. I can go on and on. So. Uh, for me, it's it's going to be a difficult uh, department to compete against, but I'm really, you know, looking forward to. And obviously, I would like to be in that squad because um, it's every, you know, rugby player's dream, even your childhood dream growing up, that you want to be part of something that massive. So, I really hope that I'm going to be part of that 31-man 30, squad.